for millennial who's been diagnosed <laughs> with generalized anxiety disorder. Also, what is a, a non-gender voice? Like that that's not that's they literally not a real the, thing. They probably use your voice. Wait, Someone that you can't tell. You're saying my my voice yeah. is, is it could go either way. It's fluid? just gonna be it's, yeah. it's a oh, woman nice. that smokes cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the wo- it's the women they use to voice like a uh, rowdy little boys mm. on, on like or is that the girl who when the woman who did ba- Bobby Hill or is Elizabeth Holmes the that lady with the, 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 uh, like the line that spoke no, to me stated simply like yeah. I am not tragically yeah. colored there is no uh, sorrow yeah. dammed up in my soul nor lurking behind my eyes I do not mind at all mm-hmm. at 17 I had no idea what life would bring but Sora's sentiment articulated so beautifully how I felt as a daughter of immigrants then and now Nothing about me was or is tragic. Mm-hmm. I am perfectly made. Mm-hmm. I can wax eloquent on complex legal issues in English while also belting Guayaquil de mis amores in Spanish. I can change a diaper with one hand and console a crying toddler with the other. <laughs> I'm a woman of color. I'm right, a mom. That's, that's the weirdest line mm-hmm. in the whole thing to me because it's like... She can change a diaper? Uh, what, uh, what are you doing with your hand to console the toddler? <laughs> Yeah. She's rubbing jacking it off. I don't. I've seen people change <laughs> oh, you diapers. Think she's jacking it off. She's, she can molest it and change. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've seen people change diapers, and it's uh-huh. of all this shit. It's like the, the mm-hmm. like you know, because there's a lot of people going off on this video or whatever, right? Yeah. Making the mistake of thinking that whoever made this, you know, doesn't it look like that they just found out about all this stuff this week, right? Uh-huh. Not and that they haven't been planting it. For the last 10 years. Either way. <laughs> yeah. good, good job. But there is one thing that the CIA is it is actually not good at, mm-hmm. and it's not having sex <laughs> with children. Yeah, right. That's true. <laughs> that's can't. something that they, they... It's hard. That is the only thing. Mm-hmm. They, they can do a lot of weird... The crazy yeah. stuff. They all get the letter agents, a lot of yeah. stuff. But all of them fall prey to these internal, like, well, let's have the children as part of a honeypot plan, right. mm-hmm. and then before you know it, the president's <laughs> fucking children. Of course, and yeah. now we gotta kill Jeff. Uh, yeah, you know exactly. Now mm-hmm. someone's gotta take the fall. Doing that. Mm-hmm. That's. I mean, that's elite skills with two <laughs> different hands. I am a cisgender millennial who's been diagnosed <laughs> with generalized anxiety disorder. <laughs> I- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But but I mean and this, is, this is this this plays into theory B because the absurdity of that statement. The fucking CIA. Oh I'm, a, I'm a cisgendered millennial that's been diagnosed with generalized generalized anxiety, anxiety disorder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which probably it's like if you go to the CIA and you're like I'm mentally ill, they're like. See ya. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I don't. I don't think the way that works is like. Not only do you have the job, we're putting you in the commercials. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've trained a generation. I am intersectional, to but my existence right. is not a box checking exercise. Yeah. I am a Are walking declaration. Me? A woman whose inflection does not rise at the end of her sentences. The Kamala Hive is loving that. That's anti-Semitic. I did not sneak into CIA. My employment was not and is not the result of a fluke or slip through the cracks. I earned my way in, and I earned my way up the ranks of this organization. Mm -hmm. I am educated, qualified, and competent, and sometimes I struggle. I struggle feeling like I could do more, be more to my two sons, and I struggle leaving the office when I feel there's so much more to do. Mm -hmm. I used to struggle with imposter syndrome, (laughs) but at 36, I refuse to internalize (laughs) misguided patriarchal ideas of what a woman can or should be. I am tired of feeling like I'm supposed to apologize. But again, like they have to... Internalize misguided... It's a a spy agent. So it's like they... they, Like to what extent that like these statements are like deliberately satirical has to make me think that this is done it's like it's it's not it can't it can't it can't, it can't be serious it can't be can't be serious yeah. i mean well it's serious but it's not like right you know i'm saying they're trying to t- the, like, the k hive the kamala hive yeah here's this and they're mm-hmm. like that's me yeah they're gonna that's yeah. what i'm saying dude mm-hmm. they're gonna make a lot more cops that started as fucking mm-hmm. snitches on fucking Every, twitter everyone hates me and that makes me good at being in the cia yep. yeah yeah the patriarch <laughs> i i in turn <laughs> <I> struggle <laughs> with imposter syndrome dude, you know mm-hmm. this like spicy latina bitch like 
Her parents got her s- their slaves taken away at their coffee plantation <laughs> by Castro. <laughs> yeah. And then she came here and was like, we were poor. We had nothing. Nice.